Hi kindergarten kiddos, it is Miss Rayborn here and I am um, doing our read aloud today without holding up the book because we are going to be looking and, and watching a line that goes through our book and I want you to be able to see it really well. So we just started talking about what a line is and it's sort of like a dot that went for a walk. It just kept right on going. So this book um, called The Line by Paula Biasso uh, is what we're going to look at today. So I'm going to open it up. Look at this amazing line. It's already making some really cool shapes and it was published by Kids Can Press. I'm going to try and make sure you can see everything. So here she is with her line. Look at this. And she's starting to realize that she can kind of have some fun with it. She can play with it and wiggle it. It's got a little loop right here and it's going across. So let's see what she does with her line. So she picks it up and she gives it a little shake. And look at this. It's now a curvy line. And some of the curves are big and some are small and some are really big. Look at that one. And it goes right off the edge of the page. Let's see what happens to it next. Oh my goodness, so now she's using that curvy line, she's using her imagination to think of that curvy line like a slide. And it comes down to here, and look, it makes some loops, and then right off the page again. So let's see where the line goes now. Oh wow, it goes a loop, a small loop, a loop that's so big she can get inside of it. And then here's some more crazy loops. Some of them go up, some go down, some are big, some are small. Look at this. So this made her think, look at this little loop here, made her think of a bigger one, a bigger one, which made a little one, which look like bubbles. Wow. And then there's one more little loop over here as it goes off the page. Oh my gosh, look at this crazy line. So it makes a little bubble loop here. And then I'm going to follow it with my finger. It comes down and it makes a line flipping around, which makes a tail and a leg and a leg and an arm, a head, an ear, the top of the head, the ear, the side, and back across. It looks like a monkey. So she's imagining she's swinging along with this monkey that she's made with her line. So look at this. Here, this line is going to be like last week's line. It's going to make some people. So it goes down, loops around, and it makes the back of a head, a nose, a chin, a body. There's another person, two, three friends. And look, she's doing a trick for them. She's showing them that she can balance. That's pretty impressive. On one hand, and she has, she can hold and balance things, and it looks like she's even juggling this ball. So now let's see what the line does. It's kind of got some interesting shapes, and then it kind of looks like a, an arm, which might be a little bit scary. Look at her face. She's like, oh no, it's going to grab me. It's reaching out to grab her, this line. And now it's getting a little bit scarier. Look at this. It's got its arms. It's got some horns big open mouth. So she looks a little bit scared of that one. Let's see what happens. Oh no! Look! It's all the way over her. She's inside of the line. Her line creature. And look, she's kneeled down. She has a little tear and a frowny face like, oh my goodness, I'm so scared! But she drew this line, right? So she doesn't need to be too worried. Let's see what happens next. Instead, look what she did. She created another friend out of one big long line. It almost looks kind of like a bear to me. And it's scaring away the crazy creature monster. Look at her. She's clapping her hands together like, that was pretty clever. I'm proud of myself of what I did with my line. So now, oh look, she's sticking out her tongue like, see ya, bye. Now, look, the little bear becomes a little more friendly. It looks almost like a teddy bear now. She's going to give him a hug because he helped her. And here's our loopy line. 
all the way off and oh my goodness look at that who was drawing it the whole time it wasn't actually her could be a friend could be a brother who knows but there he is drawing that line so he's used that one line to do a lot of really imaginative things so we're going to talk next about how we can use our lines um, to create patterns and we're going to do a little drawing and painting today so i'll see you on the next slide